Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Contest of Speed. We're here with EU4 for the uh, first race of the week of round four. I have from Imola, the uh, Autodromo Ezio and Dino Ferrari, uh, in the Emilia Romagna region. Of course, normally it's called the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix nowadays, but we're not going to call it that in cars. We're giving it its classic name, proper name, the San Marino Grand Prix. And uh, joining me again, it's my trust companion, dearest Matthew. Good evening, Daniel. Good evening. Oh. You say trusted companion, and you're not here next week. You've just told me, so I'm not happy, but we manage. Yeah, yeah, but I'll, I'm off supporting our good friend Nicholas. Suppose that's a valid reason. Suppose. If you want me to put in all business serious... talk, I'm going for marketing reasons. Oh, lovely. But in all <laughs> seriousness, no, it is good to be. Uh, excuse me, back this week, and good to be back around Imola. Yes. Uh, Eleven watching early on. It's nice to see. First car out on track is an Aston Martin, and it's going to be not rapid. Substituting tonight for. Uh, Dan Hilton, who is unavailable. So whilst we wait for him to head around the lap to get started. Well, welcome to the 14 of you that are watching at the moment. You joined us early on. Thank you very much for being here. Well, it's Bernas is in for Steve. Phantom uh, in for... Joseph. JRN. 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 Mm. There's no replacement for Joseph, unfortunately, but he's a late dropout due to PlayStation issues. Uh, if you'd excuse me, everybody, I do believe that uh, some of the settings are wrong on my PlayStation because I'm getting all of your messages appear on the side of the screen, and I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, uh, but you shouldn't be. No, I can't see anything. Although, according to the stream, I'm 1 minute and 30 seconds behind. Wonderful. Um, we'll watch Not Rapids lap then. First man out on track, of course. Oh, Blades is on the wheel! Oh, yes! It's gonna, this could be fun. It's, it's, it's going to be brilliant. So if you do use my setup, because the last time we raced around here, you used my setup and blamed me for it. If you use my setup, mm. you're a moron. Yeah, this was the last track he raced out on the wheel, wasn't it? But yet, use my setup, and guess what? Funny enough, last time I checked, I haven't got a win. No. <laughs> I've got this no, thing called Not rapid there. Big cut across the uh, Variante Alto. And he was... Uh, he was on for a time still. He hadn't uh, invalidated anywhere. Track limits around here are going to be an issue. I, I, just from practice, I can't really tell it's going to be an issue this week. Very easy to run wide around yeah. certain corners. So it's the... Uh, oh, we're right on board through here into uh, Tamburello. Easy to run wide there on the exit of the third part of Tamborella. Now into Villeneuve, outside of the final part of this chicane. Yes, turn six. Very easy. I might have to pay attention to that though. He took a lot of curb on the inside of turn six. Yeah, you can do on the inside to the right hand side. Uh, that's my way around it because the car has is strong with the responsiveness going from mm. that heavy shift left to right at speed. Um, para, uh, Piratella, outside of Piratella, turn eight. Uh, oh. Pir Piratella's at the top of the hill after the hairpin of Tulsa, so. Yes. Officially, yes, turn eight. Well, actually, officially it's turn nine, but it is turn eight. Yes. Then the Revatsas. Just where we're going through, we're not rapid now. There, look, just catches it on the outside of the second Revatsa. That's the other corner. The McLaren's off, that was nearly curtains. Mm. 
So let's shift past then. Red mask on and lap on his mediums. And whilst we're waiting for him to uh, head around and finish his lap, I'm going to check these settings because I am definitely seeing people's messages appear in the uh, bottom right hand corner of my screen. Not on the stream though. Is it not? Excellent. I'll leave them there then. I'll no, leave them so. there. I don't have to have my phone open now to look at everybody's comments. That is fantastic news. Oh, excellent. Yes. Yes, you are, Blades. This is fantastic. Uh, Red Mask pulled into the pits. Completing his lap on the medium tyre and 19-0. I'm expecting we're going to be into the low 15s at some point. 15-2 or 3 around here. Right, yeah, Ethan's just made a very silly comment. He said that I'm faster than you around here. Which, in years gone by, maybe. But... Anything no. until the last <laughs> last season, no, because you didn't get to race it. <laughs> 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 mm. Sorry, you're not though, are you? Just no, not really. No. Mm. Uh, let's jump to. I'll stay with T-Bar. Let's ride on board with T-Bar then. Through Tamborello, then we go. That's a steady for T-Bar, but on the medium tyre, of course. Kick of oversteer down now towards the Villeneuve chicane. Oh, runs deep though. Tulsa, turn seven. Be careful how you say it. Up the hill then towards Piratello. Negotiates down the hill then towards Aqua Minerali. Watch your Watch yourself, Danny. This the pole time's get about to get absolutely smashed. Yeah, Phantom, fifteen two. Absolutely smashed it. And I'll tell you what it is. Sector one, four tenths quicker than anyone else through there. Well, four tenths quicker than Sneaky Tom. Ooh, that's that is some meaty time advantage. Uh, Raceway JJ, is he going again? Is he, he's going to be coming in, I think, isn't he? Yeah. He's coming in. Camping Ducks. Sneaky Tom is on an outlap, though. Let's ride with him, then. Uh, currently second in the championship after having missed out last week. Soft tyres on the Ferrari. Let's see what he can do. Okay, first sector split is coming up after the Villeneuve chicane, so after the next two corners, we're looking for a 24.2 in that top right corner, everybody. Three tenths down on Phantom, but he's improved on his own time. Middle sector, 25.6 for Phantom. That means we're going to be looking for a 49.8. Take some damage there off the Alfa Romeo. Getting in the way of Sneaky Tom. Oh, and he's spun it at Aqua Minerali. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I, I, Bernas and Escobar. Bernas on a flying lap as well. Oh, and Blades is in the wall. Just caught the end of that. Yep, and that's that. Well, on the exit of Vilna before Tulsa, I think, isn't it? Dropped you on the left hand. Six. I would presume too much mm. gravel. Yes, I would agree. A little bit too wide, maybe. Uh, I'd be interested if Blades is. Well, now Blades is available. If he could uh, jump in the chat and let us know whose setup he's using, I'd be interested to find out. What, not using? Or, oh, yeah, or not using. Oh, uh, he says, guess who? 
Um, I'm assuming, Matt, that means yours. Good luck. Uh, on board with Reflux, who's just gone fastest through the first sector. Oh, easy. I've, I've, I've worked out who it is. Uh, if I said recently returned, I think that would give it a one. Uh, the mighty oh, biscuits. Oh, it was No, no, no. Oh, it's easy. Ethan's. Ah. Doesn't surprise me either, too. Reflux has been uh, overturned through the first sector. Varda now looking really quick, so keep an eye out for that Mercedes. Six and a half. Oh, he's run wide, though. He's six and a half temps up. Oh, yeah, it's he's run right out of the chicane. Oh, no. Here comes Reflux then to cross the line. Goes fifth fastest. Um, and from experience, I would pit because you've not got enough ERS to go again, my friend. Yep, and then in comes Varda. Lap that would have put him onto a 15-6. Uh, it would have put him into second place, depending on how good his final sector was. Wow, that Ferrari was twitchy for um, Tamburello. Is that JJ? Yeah. That was very twitchy for him. Uh, yes, Dan, all assists are allowed. Um, in the majority of the tiers, the only ones we don't allow are steering and braking assist because, well, that is proper cheating. Um, pit assist. But pit, pit assists, both of them, and then ERS, DRS, and fuel manual assist as well. Start. Yes, and manual starts. Um, but like your ABS, your lines, your manual gears, go for it. So yeah, your heart's traction, content. Traction control and as traction well. And traction control, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you get up to the very top tiers, if you're that fast, then some of them it's limited. Although this season uh, we've moved away from that and back to the the origins where we just let people race and whatever, however quick they are, they go into well, their respective tiers. JJ then looks like he's going for a second flying lap. Let's see for a male coming out of the pit lane, but safely passed it. It's a Tamburello. I see that Spud. I see it. Yeah, Spud doing some cracking work there. I see two things. The Prime. It's a, for her, JJ gets away with running wide there. Uh, yeah, Dan, if you head over to the Discord server and fill in one of the application tickets, then. You'll be uh, you'll be able to talk to Matt, and he can uh, he can give you a reserve spot in whichever tier is best suited. And there goes the second Ferrari again at Aquaminerale. Somehow he's kept the uh, all fourth wheels on it. You have also reminded me that's what that's one of my jobs I've got to do after we come off contract. Ooh. Got a couple of people just to clear up and sort out. And mm. Let's go. Excellent. All right. Escobar then and Thibaut, the last two drivers to set a time. Make that just Thibaut. Escobar comes through with a 17.8. It's not that quick, but it's a time on the board. Thibaut then, the last man to do so. Out again on his mediums. Saving his soft um, tyres for the race. The uh, Mantis is on a flyer. Quarter of a second up. Let's jump over to him. Uh, he's gone purple through the middle sector, beating Phantom by two thousandths of a second. No, Blaze, you're not, you're not going to play a drinking game every time I say mineral water. Oh, there it is, 15-3. 15-3. Good luck from the Mantas. Into second place. Oh, Tin Man's here from AM3. Good man. Yeah, gonna be, he's going to be genuinely driving. And, uh, well, Blades won't be doing much driving anyway, let's be honest. Normally, ah, there he is, look. Good man, Dan's already in. Look at that. Oh yeah, I've just seen my phone just light up in front of my face. Yes. Well, Blades, um, officially no, but... Oh, Trebla, no. no. You're on such a... 
Good oh, Varda. Varda is on another one of his quick runs. Currently three quarters of a second up. This could... Show this right at the sharp end, mate. It should do, yeah. Here we go. Third place. 15-5. Took it a little bit cautiously through that final sector. Um, that's where he's losing out to Phantom and to Mantis as well. Um, first sector, he is the quickest of anybody. Middle sector, it's Mantis. And then the third sector, it's actually Sneaky Tom still. Phantom doesn't have any of the fastest sectors anymore. We've lost Bernas, I think. In the pits. Yes. Okay, Sneaky Tom then. On up at the moment. He is improving just over a tenth up through the first two sectors. Actually lost time through the middle sector, but marginal. Uh, first sector, he's made up a fair chunk of time. To the final corner here. It's a little bit of a toe off Escobar as well. 15-6. Improves his time, but not his position. Smithy's on the move as well. If he keeps this together, oh, a little bit deep into the second to last corner, but has he lost too much time? Goes third. No, third. So there we go. 15-4. This is very close, isn't it? Is. This is excellent stuff from EU4. Uh, not rapid's also three and a half temps up as well. It's like the tracks come alive all of a yes. sudden. Used to be careful not to oh, run wide through. Kept that in. And again. Yes, right on the limit. What can he do? Fifteen three goes third. Who else is on a quick run at the minute? Camping Docks is out there on a lap. He is improving. Phantom's not improved. In fact, backed out. I don't know if he's going to have time to go um, again. He might do. Uh, Oldest Miles just gone to 7th for 15-6. Camping Ducks is improving marginally. So he's going to be another yeah. one that's looking to go towards the 15-6 region. So we're watching him at the moment through... So he's matched his time in the middle sector. He's a tenth oh. up through the first. And Reflux is not going to be happy about that. Does he run wide? No, there was an Alp... I believe there was an Alpine in the way. Ooh. 15-5 uh, for Camping Ducks. Good final sector. Puts him ahead of Varda. Who at one point, don't forget, was uh, challenging for... Well, challenging for pole position. So the minute still holds. Uh, anybody else on a quick run? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't think so. Phantom is on a lap, but he's it's lost out in the though. first sector. Stort has backed out. Trevor's not. Uh, raceway, JJ, Danny. Oh, I'll jump across to him in a minute. We're on board with Phantom at the moment. who has clawed back some time through the middle sector. He's gone fastest of anybody, but he needs a worldy final sector to make it count. Just keeps it in the lines through Rivatsas. Right on the limit, what can he do? He does improve, 15-2. Right, let's jump across the raceway, JJ, now. He's not nowhere near, he's just overdriving the car. You say that, we'll have to wait and see through the final sector. No, you're right, 15-8, improves by one and a half seconds, but only goes into ninth. And Ferrari leading the championship with Raceway JJ leading the Drivers' Championship. Seventh and eight, seventh and ninth even uh, on the grid for the San Marino Grand Prix. And it's just sleeves left then. Who is crawling back to the pits, having, I believe, run out of fuel. Blade says he's getting points. That's what we 
love to see, Blaze, if you can pull it off. Go on, son. So then while we're waiting for Sleeve to be wheeled back into the garage, let's get everybody's predictions. There's 33 of you watching. Let's go for uh, What's the other bit, Blaze? I didn't see that. Let's just make sure I say the other bit. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. Uh, so, Phantom on pole then in the Williams with a time of 1.15.237. Cornish Mantis in second, just over a tenth behind. And just over three hundredths behind him is not rapid in the Aston Martin to take third place. Uh, Smithy in fourth, Camping Docks fifth, Varda in sixth, the two Ferraris seventh and, and ninth, as we said already, Sneaky Tom and JJ. Yaldersmar splits them in the McLaren. Reflux in tenth place in the Alpha Tauri. He will not be a happy bunny with that. And he's possibly on his qualifying lap as well, so that's not mm. put him in a good mood. I'm going to be paying close attention to the strategies tonight as well because of my uh, lack of racing here last season. I don't know what everybody's going to be going for. Uh, soft and the medium tire were nearly the same rate, which is a bit concerning. Ooh. That's it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. And you can pro you can do a fair bit though on the uh, softs. I think you can do twelve laps. Mm. Possibly more. Mm. So whilst we're waiting for these guys to get themselves on the grid and ready to go, just just have time to mention some of our sponsors and partners. Uh, so we are very pleased to be working with Fanatec, of course. Uh, Digitalmotorsport.com. Sim Labs and NordVPN. If you head to uh, their particular website and via the links on our Discord server, you might be able to find yourself a cracking deal on some products and services. Right then, let's have a look at what tyre strategies everybody's gone for. Whilst the top <laughs> 10 have to start. <laughs> we'll be just seeing... Yeah, I've okay. just seen that as well. Uh, top 10 of course have to start on the tyre they're qualified on, so Sorry. for everybody here that is the soft tyre. Um, outside the top 10 they've got free choice, of course, this being the previous year's F1 game it's not like the current one where they have free choice of tyre. So P11 to P14, that's Slaughter, Traveller, Red Mask and Burner, so the mediums. Then Escobar, 15th is on soft, and then Clausen. Sleeves and blades on mediums with Tebow in P19 on a set of soft tyres. Two naughty gentlemen, we disqualified as well as Spud in the chat. Ten minutes you've been timed out by night before. Yeah, for spamming capitals. Have we got a couple of, have we got a spinner? Is that not rapid? It is. Psychological ghoul aren't you showing us around him? Well he's gonna have some one tyres at least, and I do believe Blades has just, yeah, Blades has gone off the track up, <laughs> up the way as well. On the exit of, I'm going to say it, Blades, get your drink ready, Aqua Minerale. And one drink. Mm. Alright then, let's get ready to go racing. Here at Imola, classic circuit. It's going to be penalty heaven. Or hell. Depending or hell, yes, depending, depending on where you're sat. So let's get everything that's wanted. Interval up, position change ready. I'm going down to P11 on the grid just to see how the outside oh. the top 10 get on.
36 people watching in the chat. Let's get ready to go. Five lights are on. We've got a jump start for Camping Ducks. He's going to power his way through into the lead. And of course, has a drive through penalty to serve because of that. Phantom, though, looks like he's going to be holding on to the net lead. Oh, red mask for a massive lunge. At the front, though, Camping Ducks taking the lead with his jump start, but Phantom in second place, half a second behind. Then Cornish Mantis, followed by Not Rapid. Varda making a good move up the pack, along with Sneaky Tom and Raceway JJ, up to sixth and seventh, respectively. Uh, Yolder's oh, Mark and Reflux. Reflux. That was filth. Did he just go around the outside of Tulsa? Following that, with a, he did a switch back. Oh, yes. Beforehand as well. <laughs> Some dotty manoeuvres. First lap through Aqua Mineral. Oh, be careful we don't get anybody. Wide. Reflux trying to get past Yoldersmar very quickly through Aqua Mineral to get out of the throttle to avoid oh, going to the back of the McLaren. Has he got... Oh, I was about to... I, I knew he was about to say it as well. I was about, everyone's made, it, made their way through for the first lap, but no... Have we got Steve's damage for people? Yeah, Steve's has got uh, damage. Oh, so is Varda as well. Right, he's in the pits. Camping Ducks. Camping Ducks, Camping Ducks in. his drive-through. Uh, and Varda in as well. I would imagine, yeah, for a wing change and, a, and obviously a new set of tyres, so... Oh, so big puff of dust. Someone's gone wide somewhere. Let's jump back up then to front of the pack. Sneaky Tom up to fourth place now. Thanks to the drive through penalty for Camping Ducks and the early pit stop for Varda. Two guys round. Yeah, on the exit of Villeneuve. This is some very hot tyres now. Mm. Not rapid, starting to fall away from the leading pair. As Tivo's doing more down it. Smithy is off uh, and having to let everyone else go past. We've got, we've got a class and off as well, I think. Oh, he's proper George Russell, dear, isn't it? Uh, on the exit of Piratella. Yep. Oh. He's a very long way down mm. before Aqua Minerale. So, fastest lap at the moment set by Cornish Mantis closing in on Phantom but here comes Sneaky Tom that's three Not of the best be... from Tebow yeah. has he made them pay he has that's well he's made his tyres pay let's put it that way and Ooh. Blades up to eight good start Blades. from Blades he's the big winner of the first couple of laps at ten places big losers of course Camping Ducks and Varda for their early stops but apart from that Smithy down ten places that's um, four Team. Sorry, I'm on spin watch, kind of. No, no. Oh, Smithy's off. I scrolled through and there was an Alpine going sideways towards a barrier, which yeah. didn't look like it should be doing that. Just to watch out for Camping Ducks coming through. That's fairly uneventful. I believe we've got a Ferrari and Smithy's round again. That was. Uh, Sneaky Tom making his way past, not rapid. I thought one of them it might was. have lost it at uh, either Piratello or Aqua Minerale, but uh, mm. Tom made it through safely. Father's got. Oh, Escobar hasn't, though. No. No, Escobar's Lovely gone. Lovely pirouette. The, at Variante Alta. Alta, even. Press the loud pedal out of the ship. A bit too early, yes. Uh, so we've, we have split into two distinct groups now. Uh, we've got the leading 6 7, um, and then you've got P8, which is now Slaughter. It was Blades down to around P12, I think, with Trebler after yeah. Escobar's spin. Nothing Blades could do there, that's just no. the slipstream and DRS. That's just. Blades, of course, he's on, the hard he's on the harder tyre, he's on the mediums, so so slaughter, but the These guys course. kind of need to work together here. Yeah, so what we've what we've inadvertently ended up with is the soft runners 
and the medium runners all running together. The only problem is, Slaughter's nowhere near the pace of the soft runners at all. No. I don't think any of them are, to be honest, that are uh, currently down in this sort of medium group. That was, uh, Trebler had a little bit of a moment, I think. He's uh, still Blades, going in the right direction. Blades might have a look here into Rivatsa 1. It's very bold if he goes for that. He might as well wait for the DRS, which I think he's going to do. Sneak it on with a new fastest lap. Oh, and gets a bit wide though on the exit. Mm, should have DRS to defend from the uh, rapidly advancing red mask. It, it's a game of saving ERS and when to use it. You can't really get it back around here. No, but there's not a lot of heavy braking, is there? It's you've almost got Tulsa and then Rivatsa one. That's about it. Um, and maybe the Ariante Alta, but. Phantom burning away there, trying to pull the gap to Cornish Mantis. He's got 1. And I tell you what, I he? wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a lot more penalties coming at some point, because I've seen yeah. some of the, the creative lines going on here. Yeah, Red Mask has just taken one through uh, Piratella running very wide. Uh, Blades there taking some liberties on the exit of Aqua Minerali. Seventh likes this track. Yeah, he was dropping away from that leading group, but he's he's back in there now, and of course these are all in the DRS train. He's had to burn all his ERS to get there, but now I suppose he can save it. There's a split though. JJ's just losing out. Sneaky and Tom has made his way past Cornish Mantis for second place. Problem is for Sneaky Tom is there's no battery left and. Tornish Mantis is very good at what we've seen so far this season, saving his battery. Yeah, a little in fact, bit of, both uh, the Alpha Tauris are pretty good. Yeah, Sneaky Tom's got to try and find half a second from somewhere, otherwise he's going to be easy pickings. And Yolgas, oh, there, Braceway JJ, Yolgas, and Reflux all getting mm. very close together. Oh, Not. Sneaky Tom! Back end stepped out there on the exit of Piratella. It's going to be a... Uh, a new underwear, please, moment. Uh, Blade's got past Slaughter. Yoldismar has dropped it. Ooh, yeah, Aqua Minerali. Ooh. And he spun it around again. Yeah, you need to hurry up, boys. You're going to get disqualified. Because the game hates people. Who want so, to wait for everybody else? Sleeves is off uh, somewhere. Yeah, we've got Tebow in the pits as well. Just to put, bring you up to date with the tyre wear situation, Phantom is burning through his rear tyres. Well, very quickly. Um, and both the Alpha Tauris got past the Ferraris. What a surprise. Uh, yes. Sort of back past Blades. That's no real surprise there. And, yeah, but... Uh, Phantom currently 45% on his right rear tyre. The right tyres do get a bit more of a battering around here simply because mm. the load of the, uh, the corners blade is going to go to the outside, perhaps, of Toza. No, switch back underneath, maybe, question mark. No. I'm going to try and drag it, uh, getting a drag race up to Piratella. Yes. He's going to as well on the inside. Go on, Blades. Oh, not going to give it up, though. Side. Oh. Oh, Slots has given it up into Aqua Minerali, smart man. Did not want to go, go side again. by side through there. Uh, see, my, I'm intrigued to see when Phantom pits now because he is, he's losing time to the two behind him and they are fighting still. He's in. Fact, in fact, he's in already. In. He's in. That's right, early. Let's see what. Let's see what he goes for. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to the hard tie here. Do you think? I might go for a two stop to yeah. medium. Uh, sneak it on back past court. It's, they're just swapping places for fun, those two. Uh, it's another set of soft tyres. So two stopping he is then. Put you in soft, soft, medium. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right, so we'll see how that plays out for Phantom. Not Should rapid, the outside. Oh. 
let's go for it. Great move. So, back at the front then, we've got three drivers all fighting for the lead. That's Sneaky Tom, Cornish Mantis and Not Rapid. Agos Reflux 2.2 seconds back in the other Alpha Tauri. And he's closely pursued by Raceway JJ in P5. Definitely oh is, God. Shane. Definitely oh, is. Oh, sleeves. That's, you can't put the accelerator on, and on top of that curb at the same time as well. As he, That's uh, what as he spun it round. Yes. I mean, fair cr credit to these guys that are really allowed to have. It's quite easy to mm. I mean, we, give up. I think this is the first time we've had an EU4 race this season so far. And granted, we're only... Oh, all three of the leaders coming in. And we've got, oh, we've got wing damage for not rapid. Went into the back oh, of Cornish so Mantis. Oh, so retired. I spoke too soon. Yeah. Smithy there on the exit of Villeneuve. Will we get a safety car? At the moment, no. So, not rapid. That's going to ruin his race. He's going to have to have an involuntary wing change uh, for nudging into the back of Cornish Mantis. No safety car. No comment, Blaze. No comment. Personally, I think EU3's got best commentary. It's just legendary. Yeah. Some say goated. Mm. So, looking at the gap then. So, Sneaky Tom and Cornish Mantis were what? About two seconds behind Phantom? Then now. It is going to get taste. I can't say the other bit because. <laughs> it's going to get tasty, baby. Baby. Your spidey sense is telling you. Yeah, so Sneaky Tom is now 4.5 seconds near enough behind uh, Phantom. And they were within two seconds of one another. So the undercut working well for Phantom, giving himself some breathing room, but he does have to stop again. What is a KV, Spud? Ask, answer me that question. What is a KV? <laughs> But, crucially, we missed that. Sneaky Tom has gone to the hard tyre. He's definitely going to try and go to the end. Oh, side by side, the Ferrari and an Alfa Tauri. Not for the first time this evening. And the Ferrari wins this battle for the time being. Yeah. Uh, so we've got Red Mask as well. And now the lead medium car in third place. Pure Blades closing in on him. Uh, with Slaughter now dropping away behind him in P5. Of course, the medium runner's yet to stop, as you can see from the graphic. Nine laps on those tyres. Fred Mask has bought his time there. He's behind both the two guys in fourth and fifth at one stage. And uh, bought his time now he's ahead. And Phantom already passed Burner, so. A couple of times I've seen Blades take that line through uh, Aquamina Rally. I might have to see. I might have to test that. Ding strategies, as you said, we do not They split. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, JJ continuing, as is Reflux. Blades is on. Well. Another way of saying it, all over the back of the house this time. Yeah, and this should be an easy move for him. DRS and to the outside. Into third place. Um, meanwhile, Reflux oh, has look. taken JJ into Villeneuve. Yes. <laughs> look at Ferrari now for Tarry swap positions again. Shock. Phantom crucially, sorry Danny. Oh, yeah, crucially, three Phantom three seconds. I think if he can keep it to three, he should be okay. I think we're going to get a lot of people pick up the three seconds. But it's a long way still to go. Gap to leaders, 13 point. Well, just getting down to 13 seconds now. Between Phantom and the lead. Pit stop time around here, what, 22 seconds ish? Honestly, couldn't tell you. Just gonna throw that out of there. Mm, I'll be interested to see when these two pit. Will Tash be able to tell me? Uh, it might be. It 
maybe. In fact, I can tell you. Um, here. Uh, Escobar, multiple warnings. Um, pit stop times, I'm looking with roughly 29 and a half seconds, all told, in the pit lane. Average pit lane time so far this Grand Prix is 31.8. There's been a few yeah. front wing changes. Yeah. That'd be why. Uh, so I think no, ch no front wing change. We're looking at 29 seconds. And base to the outside. Bread mask. You're going to get a nice run underneath. As Bernas has lost a couple of places to Cornish Mantis and Sneaky Tom. Right. Reflux is in, JJ continuing now. This is going to get interesting because Blaze is now on the back of Red Mask for the umpteenth time. And it's going to take what will be uh, the net lead of the race. Uh, when I've got. JJ pits. Of course, anybody who is. 12 laps on their tyres are still yet to stop. So there's also an Alpine trying to outlap themselves. Yeah, I think. Is that. T Bug. Yeah. I think he's not faster at the minute. And he's gone, oh, he's lost he's it, out. and he's out. That could bring a safety car. It's a virtual. VSC. Which, if it stays out long enough, will be me there. Safety we go, car. full safety, safety car. car. Raceway JJ is now rubbing his hands like some twisted criminal. Now then, Phantom, what are you gonna do? I think it's it's a case of what does everybody do. I think the only person now who can happily sit on the tyres they're on is Sneaky Tom. Everybody else will be asking the question. Can mediums go to the end? Who knows? Blades comes in. Someone stayed out. That's Phantom, Phantom. staying out. Uh, we're going to have Mantis and Sneaky Tom come through. And they're going to stay out as well. Yeah. And then JJ, I think, is going to jump up into fourth place here. Not rapid. It's going to be a race. To which the Ferrari wins. Yeah, he's got it. And it's a set of mediums for JJ, so he's going to try and get to the end on those. Uh, Blaze is in the chat saying the mediums can do it comfortably. Uh, yeah, they should be able to from yeah. here now because we're on lap 14. Well, we say that. How many have we got to go? So, 18 I don't to know, go. But I'm just going to throw this out there. There's some guy in 11th place, and considering how to drive through penalty. He's doing all right, isn't he? Yeah, he's not doing too badly. And on the tyres that he knows he can comfortably get to the end. Don't have to yeah. worry about. The only reason I'm saying... I'm asking about the mediums is because... Cornish Mantis is on four lap old tyres now. We've got 18 laps to go. So... Oh, no, not Rapid's gone! Aqua Minerali, that's going to lose him a handful of places. He was just in front of his teammate in fifth. I've also in fact, just he, in fact, he was ahead of Reflux, wasn't he? I've just checked as well. Um, Camping Ducks was doing very similar pace to the leaders as well. Ooh. On the soft tart. Yeah, exactly. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on what he can pull off as this race progresses. But no, the reason I'm asking the question about the medium tyres is because we've got um. Cornish Mantis on four lap old tyres. I don't know, it's five now, but we've been, been behind the safety car, so there's not a lot happened. I just realised something. Go on. You may have said it. I'm prepared to take the bullet for it. Blades is on the soft tyre. 
I hadn't spotted that, but it might be a very good call. Because we saw Raceway JJ take the 12 laps. He wasn't the quickest at the end of that stint, but between 8 and 12 is where you can stretch them to. If we get another safety car, Blades could be in the money for a, another set of mediums and then a cruise to the finish, blitzing his well, way through the pack. My thing is, how many sets of tyres are they using qualifying? Because I'm pretty sure he's got Well, two he crashed, didn't he? So, so he's got two spare. Mm. So he's got another set of softs and another set of mediums, fresh. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't that's know, Spud, can you... Uh, Relay some information to us, that'd be fantastic. Let's see what he can find out. PC spot on the job. Yeah, I, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get me thing out about Mantis now. He's on. He was on 15% wear when the safety car came out. And that was on four lap old tyres. Safety car is coming in this lap, so we're going to have 16 laps. Oh, I've also just read us something, um, so there's going to be a gap. His tyres are going to be at 75% wear at the current rate by the end of the race. There's going to be a Haas in between. I've just seen that. The back markers. Let's see when Phantom gets ready to put his foot down. He could take right, him all yeah. the way to the line, Bottas style, or he could go at any point from now. There he goes. Oh, that looks like a quality restart. Caught Cornish Mantis napping, and he's going to be under pressure from Sneaky Tom. Who's in turn going to be under pressure from his teammate, Raceway JJ. If I was in the Ferrari camp, I would be letting JJ go. He's on the faster tyre. Camping Ducks has already made a place. He has, yeah. He's got himself... He's made two places. Uh, not rapid and I'm assuming Traveller, but definitely not rapid. Yeah, off the off the actual restart, he got past Traveller. Yeah. And he's all over the back of the Alfa Romeo, hassling it. It's right on board. Uh, we've got some wing damage for Blades. Sleeves has crashed at Tamborello. And the safety car's safety out again. Car. Oh, and there's some more wing damage. And David Clarkson, I believe, is off somewhere. Off to the shops. Yes, he's, off, he's off wide there, isn't he? Uh, he will have to stop, though. This boy's I... got wing damage. He has, yes. So that safety Visually. car could be... A blessing, it's 23% yeah, to the right hand side. I think we'll see Blades now stop for a set of mediums, possibly, and then go to the end. This Phantom's done the same, Phantom's used this opportunity to go mm. to a different set of tyres. Yeah. Get rid of those softs. And mediums, and also to the mediums for the Aston Martin. That was just a given. They've not lost actually too much, they're only just outside the point. but they have got all the work to do. Um, oh, Yolders Mar's gone to the softs. Yeah, so is David Clarkson as well. But he's now, is he two laps down now? Uh, yeah, I believe he's a lap down on everyone else plus, yeah. At the back of the actual train. Mm. So they're all going to be massively over. There shouldn't be anyone under field now. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, no, there is nobody under field. We've got. Well, the the lowest field we've got is half a lap over. Wow. Okay. I dread to think what the heaviest one is.
heaviest. Uh, it's not that bad actually. Oh, oh no, wait, no, it's uh, it's three laps over. Ouch. Mm-hmm. That man is currently also on the hard tyre. I won't reveal who it is. That narrows it down to four. Mm hmm Yes, they are on the hard tyre. Uh, incidentally, the uh, the lowest level of fuel is also on the hard tyre at the moment. <laughs> so safety car I think should be coming in this lap um, we can get going again don't play, silly, don't play silly buggers behind the safety car please Jim. <laughs> this has been that new rule introduced with real F1 hasn't there where they're not allowed to do the Verstappen trick of going alongside that's still allowed in cars um, and it doesn't matter how much you hassle, it's only going to put uh, yourself under pressure to make sure you get a good restart. Ooh, George, go on, do it again. Dare you. Do it. Do it. Uh, camping ducks are spum. Oh, down into the well, fourteenth, thirteenth place. And That's going to be painful. Made two positions back up. Interesting. Uh, Blades has got a penalty for ignoring yellow flags. That'd be for going past camping docks, I'd have thought. Uh, yeah, I would think so as well. Although he's trying to get back through. It, it, this reminds. Didn't Checo do this? Yes. Around here as well, and then try to drive back through and you're not allowed to, that's just tough luck, you should mm -hmm. just suffer the consequences. Oh, front two again, Corners too close to there. comfort. Ooh, and oh, this that I think was an illegal overtake from Cornish Mantis which should never have happened, that should never have been given. That's a back right out of it and he's lost Four places as a result of that. Oh, and Escobar is off and out and round. Camping Ducks is in. Not another safety car, please. Yeah, it's, it's going to be in it. I think we'll be okay. David Class and Dumpft as well. There was some a lot of debris towards the back. I think someone sped up possibly when they shouldn't have done, and there was a collision caused. Mm. I just saw carbon fiber confetti all over the place. Uh, not yeah. rapid, not too late. Yeah, and uh, as people are pointing out in the chat already, Mantis has been knackered by the game there. Dropping from first to fifth. I, post I, I didn't see that. I'm afraid. I yeah, saw him swap yeah. positions and then. Phantom making his way past Trebler down towards the Ravatsas. Blake's hey, trying to follow him through. And has followed him through. Yep. And, and uh, Bernard Burnout. says thank you as well. I wonder if we've got some damage there for but for, uh, for Trebler. No, nope. but I would, no. I would say these two need to swap positions as well. And he's to let the oldest might have a go at the guys in front. Obviously he has the better tyres. So there's a gap. Phantom needs to close that gap and bring everyone with him. And he has managed to close it. As Yoldesmar goes down the inside of Tosa. Past the Mercedes. Yes, takes that position back. Uh, meanwhile, at the front. The two Ferraris leading Red Mask in his house, and then the two Alpha Tauris where Eflux looking to get past. Slaughter is going to. Oh, i so glad he decided better of that move. <laughs> I thought he was going to go down the inside of the chicane. I was a bit 
nervous, if I'm being honest. Pancada seems to be under the cosh. Yeah. Doris we are reflux active. side by side with Red Mask. Towards turn one. Who's going to be braver? Oh, Red Mask is round. Oh, and not rapids got through past the law. That was a good move, I think. The two in front tried to do the same, but uh, not rapids and storm gave each other just about enough room. I need to be careful of the yellow flags as well. And red mask is round, yep. as you said. He's, uh, he got tagged by a reflux on his way through. Oh, I believe not rapid had a moment there. Yeah, he yeah. has he's lost the position there side by side. Oh, they're still side by side. Slaughter's going to take it. Needs to be careful now. Vada attacking him down towards the Rivatsas. But look how fast Reflux has caught up there to uh, Raceway JJ. We'll jump across because that's going to be a move for second place, I'm sure of it. Vada was pushing not rapid through that corner. Ooh, this is going to get messy, folks. <laughs> Let's jump back up to that fight for second then. Raceway JJ, known as Cos Perez for his performance at the back end of last season to help Luke win the EU4 Championship last time out. Can't do anything to stop Reflux charging through. They're all going to go side by side. The Mercedes go wide. We could go three wide here with the McLaren. McLaren oh, backs out, blade, blades through, phantom through. Oh, later on the brakes, but now Yoldersmo around the outside of Tulsa on the soft tyre. Oh, not the first time in the tyre we've seen that move. Mm. It's coming down to tyre wars, isn't it? We've got Sneaky Tom on his hard tyres leading the way. Raceway JJ's managed to get back past Reflux somewhere. Oh, not rapid spun it. He's dropped it. On the yeah, exit. It's Aqua Minerali, yeah. Yes. It's been a couple of times we've seen him lose his way Get a bit close. there. Yes. Yeah, and it's, I think that's third time unlucky. Phantom's trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do here. He's gone side by side. Slaughter's then given up the place, but I think that's a little bit foolish because Slaughter's now got the DRS. Yeah, but we're looking at uh, a battle for second place on stream. Reflux has taken that fairly comfortably. On board with Mantis behind, who would have potentially been in the shout to take third as well. He has Blades to the outside. The Woodham says no. Blades is still there and his contact. And Blades is round. He's to get himself going again. There's still chance. There's plenty of laps to go. There is. There's still ten. Mm. Including this one. Just be careful fighting with not uh, fighting with Red Mask there. Does manage to hold on to P12. Back up at the front then. Seems to be settling a little bit into Sneaky Tom, Reflux, JJ, Mantis. Keep an eye on that. Phantom though, pushing Slaughter through Variante Alta. Oh! oh! Chop across from Slaughter there! That was vicious! Ooh. We were on board with Phantom for that one. I, that was a punch in the face. That was a knockout <laughs> blow, oh. literally. That was, yeah, that was proper. So Phantom then out of the race from the man on the move. No, his miles got through. Yeah, and somehow that's not a safety car. Yeah. Of all the incidents we've seen, that probably deserves to be one. Murder, 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 murder. Murder, murder, murder. <laughs> Change the record. No, we don't have to there. That really was. Uh, Camping Ducks has made his way past Trebler. Uh, past uh, Red Mask even. <laughs> Trebler <laughs> looking at... So 
Burnus running wide through Piratella gives Trebler a sniff of a move. But he's covered it. Oh! Oh! And I wouldn't be surprised if that McLaren has got front wind damage. Yes, it's missing a fair chunk of it. Things starting to get a little bit scrappy now. People's tyres at different ages, different wear levels. It's been a long race as well. They've still got nine laps to go. That's going to be at least another mm. 12, 15 minutes. Yeah. I'm sure not rap is going to come back here. I think so. Um, as Traveller does yeah, come Trevor. into the pits. Uh, reflux then within half a second now of Sneaky Tom. He's in DRS range, but Raceway JJ stayed with him. So, championship leader in third place. Championship protagonist in first place. And the dark horse in second place. Let's see how this race goes from now on. I just needs to be careful here. He's going um, to drop out the window soon if he's not careful. He's losing lots of time. Yeah, his tyres are sort of they're at that point, that first. In, in fact, he's using phase. a lot of time. He's lost nearly half a second just as this lap. Yeah, I think you're right, uh, Ninja. We're going to need the um, the heat spot camera from Cricket just to just to see where the contact was. But I think you're right. I think there was some there. You know, it's in line. Jesus. DRS is open. Reflux to the inside. Sneaky Tom lets him have it. So there's not much point fighting that at this stage. Sneaky Tom going to be playing the longer game than these guys around him. So he's on the harder tyres, so he's going to be hoping that the medium runners start to feel the effects of their tyres. As the oldest one's gone. Yep, on the exit. Wow, he's oh. dropped that a long way down. What, do you reckon Tank Slapper? Yeah, and a safety car, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yes. Camping Ducks is in. He's the first one into the box. And this is now going to be an eight lap sprint to the finish on soft tyres. Oh, is someone going to pull the pin near the front? Who's going to be brave? Oh, well. Realistically, they all have to stop, no? They can't Do just they? keep. Well, yeah, they can't I, just I know who's got the. I know who's got the worst decision going. It's the guy that's Yeah. yeah. Now, for me, this is easy. You have to stop. You have to stop for softs. If you carry on, I, I can't see a way that they're going to win or hold position. So, yeah, Reflux is in. Sneaky Tom Someone. is in. And JJ's in. We're going to get a Ferrari stack. Let's see how much time JJ's going to lose. Yes, Varda! Yes! Is I he going it. for it? He's, He's going, going for, for it. it! He's going for it! He's going for it! He's popped her out. Here he is. I did think there was going to be someone. I mean, he's, he's not got anything to lose at this point. Uh, not Rapid's done the same as well. Blades oh, has come yeah. in, so. Right. You brave, brave individuals. Well, we should. We should get what? Daddy, mm. something great just happened. Go on. Look at the order of third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Was it like it wasn't when it when they went into the pit? Oh no! Mantis has jumped JJ! I know! <laughs> I, I, would, I wonder if. Uh, like, it has to be that JJ was held somewhere. Obviously, I, I, he was held I, by I his found team, that mate. all out by myself. I didn't look at the comments and the, uh, the massive support of Let's Go when. <laughs> And there was an explosion of noise. Yes, through through words. Mm. Yes. Uh, so it's the two who stayed out, and then Reflux, Sneaky Tom, Cornish Mantis, Raceway JJ, Slaughter, Burnas, Redmas, Trebler, Camping Docks, and Blades bringing up the rear. Hey, good luck trying to work out who's going to finish where with the amount of penalties going on. Otherwise. So we have a look at penalties. Good well, I think it's fair to say 
Red Mask is going to be coming last. I think. Of the finishers. Yes, with 24 <laughs> seconds. And there's something the different drastic that's happened. Mm -hmm. Then I would imagine. Seconds. Wow. We've not had 24 laps in green flag running. <laughs> <laughs> and so that that is averaging. More than flag, one a lap. From yes. green flag running, that's averaging like four warnings a lap. It's about, yeah, it's about one and a half, two warnings a lap, correct. That's, that is on another level. Right, let's head up to then our leader, Vada. The Croat with some serious testes on him. See if he can pull this off. I mean, he's got six seconds of penalty, so I doubt he'll be able to hold position on on that alone. Spud's not happy. Ooh, why? Spud, what's up, mate? Yes, what? they have swapped positions. Mm. Mm. You're right. And now they swap positions. What is going on? I wonder Stop if they're overtaking each other under the have safety they, car. Have they? I wonder if they've Jesus. both got the. Illegal overtake. Good. And no, so I, swapping... hope, I hope they have. <sighs> Being horrible now. Yeah, but if they've both got it, then swapping backward and forward is probably going to be the best way to go about it. That's going to be the only way they can go about it, about, so that they both avoid penalties. Safety car coming in this lap. So we've got everybody on soft or, well, relatively fresh or brand new set of soft tyres. Varda and Not Rapid at the front of the pack. You brave individuals. On old medium tyres. I'm going to say. I mean, say, I'm not going to lie, if not, there's some front wing damage. And it's Blaze, he's gone back. into the back of Trebler. Not rapid at worst, he's probably going to finish sick there. Father went early, but he got a poor exit from the second Rivazza, and not rapid, he's right under the gearbox of that Mercedes. There's no DRS at this point, this is pure straight line speed. Reflux sitting there. Look at him. Like the cat yeah, that got the cream waiting to pick up the pieces. Little nudge yeah, there from not rapid, no damage though. So it's as you were. At the start of lap 29, five laps to go. Camping ducks is. Here goes not rapid down the inside of Tosa. <gasps> Sneaky Tom's off! Sneaky Tom is off. He's round. He is. He's round at Tulsa. Oh, not rapid. Run wide. So Vard has gone through. Other way round, mate. Vard that went wide. Sorry, they I'm side right by here. side all the way from Tulsa, all the way through Piratella. No, now not rapid. Again. Not rapid's had a poor exit from Aquaminerale. Vard back through. Reflux unable to make any advances though. JJ's got back ahead of the Cornish Mantis. Reflux also whacked the back of one of them. I don't know which yeah. one it was. And, and it was like commentating over the Grand National, and they're off. <laughs> they're into the Press final second. furlong. Varda's clearly struggling. Not rapid now in second place. Reflux third. Mm -hmm. Being hassled by Raceway JJ. Yeah, Trumpler's the Ferrari. Off. Look at Round. him go. Uh, yes, we do have damage for Reflux. 21% for him and Mantis as well. Both Alpha Tower is carrying damage. Not rapid looking to defend. Oh, JJ forced onto the grass. This is fantastic. The Ferrari looking the most dominant now, but he's got to Red try and clear that Alpha Tauri. Can JJ pull off the damage limitation performance of his life? He's got those three seconds as well, let's not forget that. So we've got three cars with wing damage, we've got two out front, still on those medium tyres by the way. Who... Uh, are able to hold off but purely because DRS this yeah. time round I believe yeah it will be but and they're only going to have one and because of where it is they're only going to have one go at it yeah I do you know I wouldn't be surprised if not rapid wins this uh, reflux three seconds as well so don't, I yeah. don't know let's get the penalties up and keep an eye on it 
We know what we all know what tires there are. Not, Not rapid, rapid goes defensive. JJ needs to clear reflux now. If he's going to have a chance, he's going to try. He's going to go for the dummy down the inside. Going to go for it on the brakes. Great move from JJ. Oh. Gets him last of the late breakers. Ferrari up to third. Now he's got Magnifique. the two media. It's a Magnifico. Fantastic. They've, they've swapped as well. Yeah, Mantis up to fourth to carry on the attack, but he's got damage as well. Not as bad as Reflux, but still, it's not ideal. JJ then charging now. He's going to have one attempt. He's got to try and get a double overtake on these guys, but Rapid's going to have DRS as well. So he could really do with getting him before that DRS straight. Bonas is dropping positions. Uh, one second left. One second left, then he gets the DQ. Oh, yeah. JJ dropped a little bit further back from Rapid than he would have liked. This is going to put him on the back foot, but it will give him a better run oh, out of the Oh, he's got three seconds now. Oh, that changes everything. Now all JJ has to do is get past, not Rapid. Um, watch out for Sneaky Tom here, by the way, because Dolores... Yeah, he's... he's still on for a, a very good finish, isn't he? Yeah, it would be penalties. If someone gets caught up in an incident in front of him, you, you never know. Strange things have happened. We have the two Alpha Tauri sort of holding station now. JJ giving it everything to try and get past that Aston Martin down the inside of Tulsa. Rapid tries to defend. He comes across this Slaughter contact between the two. The There's damage for JJ now. Not Rapid with some oh, unorthodox oh, defending there. Camping Ducks knee goes three wide. Dafitari's a bit of a roadblock, if I'm being honest. Cornish Mantis, though, still on for the win at the minute. But he's penalty free. 32 seconds. Oh, that's Camping Ducks nice. down the inside. They're going to go two by two. Yeah, Raceway JJ, oh, one more opportunity. Squeezed. He's not going to have it into the Rivatsas. Oh, big damage for the Alpha Tauri. Yeah, Reflux, lo he's lost his front wing completely. But it's going to be Varda who takes the chequered flag first. He'll drop behind Rapid and JJ. Mantis takes the victory, though. Raceway JJ up, stays third. Sneaky Tom into fourth. Varda drops to fifth. Slaughter sixth. Camping Doc seventh. Reflux takes eighth at the end. With Bernas 9th and Pure Blades 10th. Tripler will be the last man across the line. It's a red mask. Uh, Thanks for a quiet week for you, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bank holiday, it's fine. Yeah. It's all the bank holiday, isn't it? Friday, Monday. Mm. Recovery Monday. What we like to see. Right, Pure Blades driver of the day, look. It's been the only sort of award he's getting. And he got his point, I suppose. That'll do him. But yeah, Mantis takes the victory. Having kept himself clear of penalties. Not rapid there with his unorthodox defending. Managed to keep Raceway JJ behind. And Varda and not Rapid actually managed to hold off the charging pack at the end there. Those medium tyres. Great stuff from EU4 as always. Cornish Mantis then with his second victory this season. And not Rapid, his first time on the podium. Uh, Raceway JJ with his fourth podium of the season there in third place. Don't be surprised to see this change dramatically uh, after the yes. are yes. applied. I can already tell you. Yeah. This isn't going to stay the same. I can already feel. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's going to it's going to change. But uh, for now, I, you know, that wasn't a bad way to spend a Monday evening, was it? 
Yeah, but you're right, Ethan. I don't think bank holiday is going to be enough. <laughs> yeah. So I've got two weeks off now. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I can help. It's going to be uh, interesting, to say the least. But there we go. Mm. En entertaining at the same time. But... Yes. To watch, not to drive, probably. the Alpha Tauri up on the pedestal and we'll get those three lovely people in for a little chat I need to remember who it was even though it just happened 10 seconds Cornish Mancers not rapid and very sweet JJ chat with these three if you've got a question you'd like to put to our podium trio then get it in the chat now um, right, sorry, sorry, sorry. yeah you forgot that start to roll in just make sure your audio is set to be shared for me everybody don't want these lovely people not hearing your dulcet tones hello 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 let's uh all right let's wait for jj to appear yeah, we're all here i think we're all here excellent right start off then with third place which in the end was Mr. JJ. Hello. Talk us through that ending. Uh, it looked like you were a man on a mission after you managed to get past the uh, the Alpha Tauris, but... Yes, it was um, uh, an interesting end. Um, I'm, I'm quite happy to be provisional third. Um, I don't like this track racing around it anyway, um, so to be on the podium uh, is a positive, but um, yeah, that the ending was a bit of a blur. I uh, was unfortunate, I got stuck in the pits and lost the place to uh, Mantis because of it. It would have been quite interesting to see what I could have done if I was ahead of him because he's quite a good uh, driver, so there's one less person to get past it would have been. Yeah, because there was those two guys as well out front on the mediums who decided to try and stick it out they'd not been there you'd have been off and away yes but they were they took the risk um, and they just about somehow various tactics kept kept ahead yeah but, uh, either way though from where you were at the start of the race and how everything seemed to go down I think P3 is pretty good no? yeah very very happy with third um, I'd have been delighted with the top five on this race Stuff. Well, well done, mate. Congratulations. Uh, Cheers. It's Portugal next week. Uh, yes, I'm going on holiday to Portugal. Um, should be mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah actually, that's a good coincidence. I'm actually going on holiday on Tuesday, so uh, to mm -hmm. near Portimao, actually. So uh, oh, you might see Matt yeah. there. Yes. <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> you're, you're, you're funny. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Nice one, mate. Well done. Congrats on P3. Moving on then. Second place. First time coming in for an interview. Not rapid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. What a race. Uh, yeah, my race was pretty nice on the beginning. I had quite some pace. Qualified P3. 
but I made some mistakes throughout the whole race and uh, yeah I just happened to get so unlucky um, yeah luckily there was some safety cars who saved uh, saved me and uh, uh, the unlucky thing for Phantom he was really on pace and uh, he was going really great he would he would have taken the win uh, but um, he he got taken out uh, unfortunately but uh, they Austin and um, Phantom helped me a lot to get a uh, because Jesus I was struggling a lot th towards the end because I was on 10 laps old medium so uh, it's pretty difficult for me looks like it, uh, it certainly looked like you were having to throw everything at it to try and well firstly attack Varda at the restart and then hold off yeah. Reflux and then JJ towards the end it's, uh, yeah. what can we say I mean it was a brilliant drive all round yeah, I got a lot of pace throughout this whole 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 uh, race. I, I got so much pace in me, and uh, it's constantly getting good laps in. And on the end, it was a really nice fight with, uh, with all of you guys for P1, P2, P3. It was pretty nice. Yeah, but, uh, anyway, congratulations on P2. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see some more of you yeah. moving forward. Cheers. And finally, then our race winner. His second win of the season, uh, but I think due to the events of that evening, he hasn't had an interview for victory before now. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think we did, but no. that was quite an in in intense race. I was somewhat glad with the one. Yeah. So come on then, talk us through that. Talk us through <sighs> the final few well, laps. I mean, I'm, I th I'm with Raceway in the fact where I really don't like this track. I haven't had good past races this track the the fast right hander and always throw me off into the wall and I've, I've always had I haven't had good history with this track so to be able to somehow find pace in quality and then to be able to continue that pace throughout the race but as you were saying with the last few laps I mean th there's always going to be two sides to a story but um from my point of view I thought I believed I had the pace and I thought I was close enough that I could go for that um, that move on Sneaky Tom mm -hmm. um, because I know how fast he is and how fast Raceway is for that matter and that was the closest I was during the restart so I, I just had to go for it because that was my only ever my only chance and it ended up being a collision I, I thought he was going to be able to like, take it a bit wider and leave the room for me on the inside and then we continue out on that straight and race side by side, um, but that didn't en end up being the case. Yeah, it's, sometimes it happens, I don't It's a shame, but uh, the way you get to enjoy your, your victory, even if it is. Yeah, that was sort of the last thing I expected from today. I thought I was just going to be looking at Raceway's gearbox for the most of the race, and that was the case, but the, the pit stop ended up being quite convenient. Yeah, and then at the end, no penalties coming in handy for lucky you. because I got my I got my second warning on the last lap oh yeah so I was, I was pretty much on the nerves yeah one wrong move and it would have cost me a lot yeah but you kept it clean and that's what matters but, uh, congratulations mate well done thoroughly Thank deserved victory and uh, best of luck for Porter now next week thank you very much I'm not looking forward to that race <laughs> I think a lot of people have got some nightmares from the last time we were there. It's another right nightmare. Mm -hmm. right is that, just going to be my... one tricky main corner. Main. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that should be a fun that, uh, to that. Fingers crossed, yeah. Should be a cracker. But with that then, we will call it for tonight. Thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you have, make sure you hit follow on Twitch. And if you're feeling very generous, you can subscribe as well. Uh, if you're watching this back later on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe and like the video. It really does help as much as it appears not to. Uh, you can head over to our social media channels to keep up to date with everything Contest of Speed. We'll see you next week for Portimao and the Portuguese Grand Prix. Well, Matt will. I won't. I am, I am three tonight. Yes, I know I am three tonight. Yeah. 
AM3. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. AM3 tonight at 2 a.m. in the UK, so that's 3 a.m. Central European time and 9 p.m. Eastern. If you want to join the guys for that, they will be right here where we are now, just in the future. But also the past. Oh, don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll be racing every day this week, apart, uh, apart from Friday, I think. Uh, yeah, so every weekday this week we will be racing apart from Friday. Make sure you stay tuned and catch all the action. We'll see you next week. Good night.